Hey everyone, this is John at Liquid House. Today I want to go over the video I did last week when I water blocked my GTX 1080 for the win, as well as the bending tutorial. The bends I did in that video I actually wasn't too happy with, so I tore down the system without the camera rolling, completely redid the two runs, and I'm way happier than I was before with how it looks now. The water block, I cannot praise this thing enough. The way the LED strip inside the block matches up with the case lighting is incredible. This thing looks like it belongs in my case, like as if I designed the whole system around that block. Honestly, I had no idea that the block was going to come out from when I started this rebuild. Uh, my old build was in an 800D, but now that I switched to the Thermaltake W100, I had a lot more room to spare. And so I did a vertical GPU mount. I figured with an air-cooled card because I was going to try and keep up on the card generations as they kept coming out. I didn't even have time to have a liquid-cooled graphics card. I figured I'd just keep it air-cooled and that would be that. So I mounted it vertically so air would be able to get inside the card better. Well, honestly with me, I can't keep anything not water-cooled so it wasn't very long until I had my eyes set on water cools block. And now that it's there, right in front of your face, it's perfect. It completely finishes up the system and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The only gripe I have is, I think because I have a passed out coolant, the channels on the block aren't completely sealed. And so you have liquid that passes over those channels that you can see on the block. If I had a translucent coolant, I don't think it'd really be a problem. But because it's a pastel, you can see the difference where there is no liquid and where there is in between the channels on the block. This really doesn't bother me that much. That's the only thing I could actually have a gripe about though, and that's that tells you something about the block. This thing is incredible. I can't recommend this block enough. The GTX 1080 is still a powerhouse in today's standards. I mean, yes, the 1080 Ti is huge, but the GTX 1080 can still do a ton. I mean, I'm playing on a 34 inch 3440 by 1440 resolution monitor, and it still keeps it at 60 hertz for the most part. The only time the frames per second actually really bog down is when I'm playing a game like Fallout 4 when I'm using mods to increase my settlement size. And so you have so many structures in that in your scene, it just bogs down. But the most it bogs down to is like 40 frames per second. With how many mods I have, I'm okay with that. As for the overclocking, EVGA's air cooler only got me up to 2062 on the core, but with max temp seeing 62C. Now with the heat killer block, I see max temps at 38C, and on the core clock, my max frequency I was able to get was 2126. It is completely flawless. It doesn't bog down with NVIDIA's GPU Boost 3.0, so I don't have to worry about fluctuating frequencies with higher temps. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I cannot recommend this block enough. This thing looks incredible. It matches my system perfectly. The guys over at Watercool are top-notch craftsmen. I really appreciate the, the fact that they even made a block for this card. Honestly, when I heard, had heard about it, that's the card that I ended up going with. If, if it would have been a Strix 1080, I would have got a Strix 1080, but because I decided to go to EVGA, I went with the EVGA 1080 for the win. I already knew for a fact that their blocks are gonna be way better aesthetically than any other company out there, and so I went with them. They currently have water blocks for the reference 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti and Titan XP. They did improve upon their design when EVGA came out with their For the Win 2 for the GTX 1080. They have since released a remodeled version and that's out as well. All those blocks are actually available on a site that I like to go to for my water cooling needs. It's called www.modmymods.com. It's where I normally get all my water cooling supplies and I really appreciate their customer service. And it's not just the GPU blocks that they sell. They sell a wide range of water cooling parts. So go and check them out. I'm really excited for the next upcoming weeks because I have a good amount of content coming up for you guys. I'm going to be doing a rebuild for an old co-worker of mine at Zydax. He has an Inwin 909 with the GTX 1080 Ti. He wants to do his completely water-cooled. I'm going to be using heat killer components as well as alpha cool. I'm really excited to start evolving this channel into something substantial. I cannot thank you guys enough for the support. If you guys can, subscribe, like this video, and share it if you can. Spread the word out. I have plenty of content coming up for you guys. I won't let you down. I'm trying to be doing a video every Thursday at 8 p.m. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thanks.